What is going on guys, Apple Fox here and another beta of iOS 10 has just been published and it wasn't really expected because we got beta 6 literally a couple days ago and now we're here with beta 7. Ok, so in this video I want to inform you guys about the latest beta with everything it brings. So another really small update, for me it was roughly 60 megabytes. The description of the update again says that it contains bug fixes and improvements. We are getting really close to the release of iPhone 7 and iOS 10, so if there will be another beta before the release, and I think it will, we won't see any new features. Apple just wants to make the OS run smoothly without any problems. As always, let's take a look at my capacity to see if something has changed. This is iOS 10 beta 6 with capacity of 12.15 gigs, and this is my capacity right now with iOS 10 beta 7 installed. So as you can see it stayed the same again, so not much to talk about. But available storage got a little higher again, so it's great. I'm not completely sure why it keeps happening, but when updating from beta 5 to beta 6, my available storage got from about 200 megabytes to 500. Then I downloaded some apps and took some screenshots and got back to 200 megabytes. And after updating to beta 7, it got higher to roughly 900, so really interesting, I would say. But let's talk about the changes. The amount of changes is decreasing as we're getting closer to the final release of iOS 10. In the previous beta, there were only some minor changes and improvements. Everything is really focused on making the performance as good as possible. Some people were reporting that after updating to beta 7, in the settings, the cellular menu was renamed to mobile data. To make it clear, it has nothing to do with any of these betas. What it depends on is the actual language you use. Of course, this only applies to English, but in the settings, you can also choose from more kinds of English depending on where you live, so it can be better optimized for you. If you use English United States, Canada or even South Africa, it will be called cellular. If you switch it to UK, India, Ireland or Singapore English, it will be called mobile data. And also, in case you use Australian English or New Zealand English, the mobile data is called just mobile. And the airplane mode is here aeroplane mode, so really interesting. I wanted to explain it because many people got it wrong and they didn't know it has to do something with the country in which you live. Everything that was improved is actually happening in the background, so there's not much I can show you. But to be honest, I didn't really expect much from this update, because even the previous beta wasn't full of changes. And as I already said, these betas are just for the small improvements to make everything run smoothly when the final version drops. In my opinion, there aren't many places the performance could get better in iOS 10. All of the animations are pretty fast, everything is really speedy, but one thing I would like to have is the animation when sliding down the notification center that appeared in beta 3. It was absolutely awesome and I just don't see any reason to take it away. Ok, this is the end of this video, I honestly hope you enjoyed it and if you want to see more videos like this, make sure you click the subscribe button so you don't miss anything. Have a nice and beautiful day, see you next time.